Hello everyone, uh, today we are continuing with our series on mechanical engineering science and in this regard we are going to talk about compound bars and uh, we are going to discuss this by using an example. So the guiding question says a compound bar consists of four brass wires of 2.5 millimeter diameter and one steel wire of 1.5 millimeter in diameter. Now, determine the stresses in each of the wires when the bar supports a load of 500 newtons. Assume all of the wires are of equal length. Then the part B is, is uh, to calculate the equivalent or combined modulus for the compound bar and determine its total extension if it is initially 0.75 meters long. Hence, check the values of the stresses as obtained in part A. And you are given the modulus of elasticity for brass to be 100 giga newton per square meter and the modulus of elasticity for steel to be 200 giga newton per square meter. Now, looking at uh, this problem, let us give uh, its solution. If we are to illustrate this kind of uh, a, a, a system, four bars of brass and uh, one of steel, this system is carrying a weight of 500 newtons. Now, let us first find the total area. Area for brass wires will therefore equal to four times pi times the square of the diameter of each wire of brass divided by 4 and the substituting the diameter here is actually 2.5 then divided by a thousand to convert it to meters will give you the area equal to 1.963 times 10 power negative 5 square meters area for steel wire is a pi out of 4 times diameter square of the diameter of steel and this would give you uh, the diameter is 1.5 divided by a thousand to convert it to meters and this would give you 1.767 times 10 power negative 6 square meters so therefore if AS is the area of the steel, then it is equal to 1.767 exponent negative 6 square meters. Then AB is the area of brass, which is 1.963 times 10 power negative 5 square meters. Okay, given the fact that uh, modulus of elasticity of steel is 200 times 10 power 9 newton per square meter, also uh, modulus of elasticity of brass is 100 exponent 9 newton per square meter and the total weight which is carried by a combination of four brass wires and one steel wire is uh, equal to 500 newtons now our struggle is to find the force in steel fs <coughs> will be given by we know uh, the, the, this fact that uh, this force uh, uh, for compound for a compound bar and with individual components uh, uh, coming together, not fastened together, but combined together uh, to carry this kind of load, then the force supported by one member, for example, steel here, is going to be. Uh, the youngest modulus or modulus of elasticity of steel times the cross section area of steel times the total weight carried by a combination and therefore divided by the total uh, product of modulus of elasticity and the area for steel and then plus the one for 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 uh, for brass. If there are there are many others, then you also add them here. So that means if we are to substitute, it means this force F S, which is uh, the force uh, supported by steel, is equal to Younger's modulus for steel. We know it. So it is two hundred. So we shall get this 200 times 10 power 9 
times area of steel which is also given uh, it is calculated above as 1.767 exponent negative 6 so times 1.767 times 10 power negative 6 now we shall divide this one by um, young as modulus of steel times area of steel plus so let us put 200 times 10 power 9 times 1.767 times 10 power negative 6 then plus 100 giga newton per square meter this is times 10 power 9 then times 1.963 times 10 power negative 5 and times w which is 500 newtons so this force in steel fs is equal to Force in steel Fs is equal to uh, according to the force in steel therefore is equal to 70.28 and now that would mean therefore that uh, stress in steel will equal to the force Fs over area As which will equal to 76.28 divided by um, steel area in steel is 1.767 times 10 power negative 6 so this one gives us 43.17 times 10 power 6 newton per square meter and therefore uh, this is uh, 43.17 mega newton per square meter and um, the stress in steel because steel is uh, the short member so this one is going to be tensile because uh, the short member, so now let us find the force, the force in the stress in 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 steel is for the 3.17 mega newton per square meter, and is tensile. Then force in brass would be actually it would be the total weight, total weight W minus four in steel F. So this will be 500 minus 76.28 and this would give you this is 423.72 uh, newtons so the stress therefore will be um, this is force FB divided by area AB and therefore this will be 423.72 divided by area of brass which is 1.963 times 10 power negative 5 this is equal to this gives us 21.59 times 10 power 6 newton per square meter which gives us 21.59 mega newton per square that is the stress sigma b that is the stress in brass let's continue uh, with the part b Part B requires us to find the combined modulus of elasticity. Uh, if we call it EC, then uh, we are going to use this formula, which is sum of the modulus of elasticity times the respective areas, then divided by the sum of the areas. So this, compo this compound uh, consists of uh, brass materials and uh, steel. So this will be the area of steel times its modulus of elasticity plus the area of brass times um, its modulus of elasticity. So in that regard, this will give us 200, which is the modulus of elasticity of steel, uh, exponent 9 times 1.767, 
which is its area as calculated from above in part A times 10 to power negative 6 plus 100 times 10 to power 9 which is the modulus of elasticity of brass times the area of brass which is 1.963 times 10 to power negative 5 now divided by the area the four uh, four components of, of brass the four brass wires the, the total cross section area is given as one point is calculated as 1.963 times 10 to power negative 5 and the area of steel which is 1 is 1.767 exponent negative 6 this would give us 1.0826 times 10 to power 11 and this would give you 1 uh, 0.8.26 mega newton per square meters having calculated the combined modulus of elasticity EC then we know that the, from modulus of elasticity equal to stress of a strain it shall be given that stress in the equivalent bar will equal to the total load W divided by the total area the total load is 500 newtons. The area is 1.767 exponent negative 6 plus 1.963 times 10 to power negative 5. And this would give us 23.37 times 10 to power 6 newton per square meters. And this would give us 23.37 mega newtons per square meters. Now, strain in the equivalent bar is given as stress in the equivalent bar divided by the combined Younger's modulus according to the formula of Younger's modulus equal to stress over strain. This would give us 23.37 which is calculated as above times 10 to power 6 divided by 1.0826 times 10 to power 11 which is the combined Younger's modulus EC. This would give us strain in the equivalent bar of 2.158 and this is approximately 0 0.2 this is 0 0.2158 if we are to bring in the equivalence of this is actually times 10 power negative 3 if we are to bring in uh, the issue of millimeters, then this would be approximately that 0 0.216. Okay. Now the common extension, the common extension will therefore equal to strain in the equivalent bar times the original length. Or just strain times original length. This is 0 0.216 times 10 power negative 3. And this would give us 1.61 times 10 power. The original length given is 0 0.75 meters. And the, the strain is 0 0.216 times 10 power negative 3. And this would give us this particular figure of 1.61, which is approximately. 0 0.161 millimeters so let us check our answers this extension can be uh, given by getting strain in any bar actually this extension will give us strain in any bar so in that regard if we are to check our strain we shall use strain equal to extension of our original length. Our extension is 0 0.161 exponent negative 3. We divide it by 0 0.75. This gives us approximately uh, 0 0.215 times 10 power negative 3, which is approximately as above. Then what about stress in steel? Would be strain times the modulus of elasticity of steel which is 0 0.216 times the modulus of elasticity of steel, which is 200 times 10 to power 9 times 10 to power negative 3. On oh, no, this is 0 0.216. This would give us 43.2 times 10 to power 6 newton per square meters, 
which would give us 43.2 meganewton per square meters. So proceeding with the stress in brass, to get stress in brass, it would also therefore be strain because it is moving as a combination. When these two, when these components are subjected to the same load, they will have this, they have the same length, they have the same strain, therefore, and therefore the common extension. So if we want stress in brass, for example, we can use the Younger's modulus, Younger's modulus of uh, brass times its strain, which would give us 21.6 times 10 power 6. Uh, newton per square meter and this would be 21.6 mega newton per square meter these values are as obtained in part a and therefore we are right